Batter's up. It's the batter's eye. Lucas Giolito versus Key. ALCS game one. Let's start this game. It's been like a week since I last played RBI baseball. I've been playing a lot of baseball mogul for some reason. I found that there's a free version of uh, baseball mogul 17 out there from them. So I've been playing that for about. I've played that in season, the season mode, two and a half years. <laughs> playing every single game. So I'm probably I'm a little out of practice with RBI. Alright, welcome to Great Rate Field. It's G Lilo on the bump. ALCS game one. There's my favorite player back there, number 35. Alright. Strike inside part of the plate. Up high. Straight to Tim Anderson. Anderson gets it. Throws him out at first. Fugio is hitting 158 so far in the playoffs. Strike outside. Swimming strike. Inside. And nope. Single up to center field. This is the first time I'm getting to use G Lito without having him out of stamina. It's really weird. One two count. Straight to Anderson. So I've been playing a lot of baseball as well. And I'm playing with the 1990 White Sox. And that's the year Sammy Sosa. Is on the White Sox, so I've been playing playing with them. Managed to get at first is Frank Thomas, at second is Jeff Kent, shortstop Omar Vizquel, third is Robin Vitera, with catching is Mike Piazza. In the outfield, right field is Sammy Sosa, in center is Lance Johnson, and then I signed. For a ridiculous amount of money, Eric Davis to play left. DHing is Rob Deer. So, I have a pretty killer team. And on my bench, I have. Uh, fouled off. On my bench, I have. Pudge Rodriguez. So, the, like, the only thing that's really bad about my team is the pitching staff. But I. Oh, that's a single is my pitching which has been inconsistent. I do have Blackjack McDowell which is kind of cool. And Brett Saberhagen. Signed him for a ridiculous amount of money too. But pitching is hard. I just made a trade for Tom Glavin too. And come on, go out, go out, go out, go out, go out. Oh shit, well, it was an out. Tim Anderson will move to second on the side fly. My favorite part about that game is just messing around with it, but the rosters aren't as historical because I just drafted Ichiro in the last draft and which he wasn't drafted, but I drafted him so Eventually, he'll go into center field for me. I know he's a right fielder, but I have Sammy Sosa. I signed him to a 10-year contract. Oh, man. That's a sack fly into center field. And then I drafted, like, in the first year of playing, I drafted Manny Ramirez, who's not developing the way I want. And he hates playing in Chicago. Oh, that's one of the bad pitch. He just ha he hates it so bad he wanted to be traded to Pittsburgh. And there's this thing in Baseball Mogul where 
people make relationships with each other or with I think uh Ron Kid Kittle was his friends with Steve Lyons and stuff, so Ah, oh, Strecka. Not a great start there. But like Ron Kittle is friends with them, so I traded for all of his friends and he still hates playing in Chicago, so I might have to trade him. It's a very uh, easy game to play when you're like watching TV or something because I like building the rosters. I don't like being the manager in that game. I just like being the general manager, so I watch the games in general manager mode. It's a very fun game to play like that. Swinging strike inside. And swinging strike outside. Let's see if I can punch him out. Swinging strike. Eventually, when I go back to work, which will be next week from when I'm recording, this is my last week of therapy. I don't know if I've mentioned this on this particular show. Well, I'm just going to assume that you don't know anyway, but I hurt my ankle like three months ago and I've been healing and recovering and finally to the point where I was doing therapy for these last few weeks and then I can finally go back to week work next week, which is exciting because I'm getting bored being in the house. Ooh, swing that pitch. And then I'm hopefully, I want to try out of the park baseball. That, that game seems fun. That, that game seems like the best simulation baseball game out there. Like sim management game. Strike inside. Ball outside, Mazar sitting 333, 1 and 0. And swung over a bad pitch. 2-2 two, two count. Fouled off. Who's pushing key? Who's 0 0 0? He must, they must have struck out inside. He must not push in that first series. Malisee hitting 167 0-0. Ball inside. Strike inside. Strike inside. And fouled off. I'm probably going to change the direction of my channel. Actually, I am changing the direction of my channel. I've been off for three months is you were like, oh, at least I have all this time to make content. And then I burnt myself out in making content. Long five ball out. Ryan used to do movie reviews, which I was doing movie reviews, and then I got to the point where I was starting to look at movies. Oh, foul ball out, out three. Where I was looking at movies like the, that I was starting to hate movies because I was watching these movies, taking all these notes, and I wasn't enjoying them, so I just stopped doing that. And then. I started doing a show called Club in this Play, and I kind of enjoyed that show. I was playing all these games, but I burnt myself out on that too, where I just don't care. Strike inside, swinging. Then the uh, come on, Massey, get some at 
first. And then I have a show out there, Travis, which is just a demo show where even I was I was getting burnt out on that. And I got burnt out on all of the shows I was making in a in a three month period. And then I was like, "What? Well, the only show I really care about is like this one, The Batter's Eye." So I was like, "Can I, I can either?" It was the same part with games too. I was starting to hate playing games because I'm like not around anything to record it. So I was always recording the game. I was, just not enjoying it as much as I should have. So I, I'm even thinking about stopping gameplay, everything, like recording game. I think the only show I'm gonna make now is The Battle's Eye. And this way I can do what I actually want to do is just play a lot of baseball games. Thanks so much. Glendale hitting 540 pass. Straight into, oh, the first baseman made a great pick. Adam Engle hitting 200. Strike outside. And foul off. Foul off. Oh, and two count. And one out swing. Struck out swimming, I mean, Anderson hit 538, 3 and 0. Ball outside. I've been talking about my like, my life and shit in baseball mode. I didn't even realize this spot on my third. Foul off. 2-1 count. Oh, to the second baseman. Got me up first. Alright, on to the fourth inning. Biggio Guerrero uh, and Guerrero Jr. Strike outside, no corner. Inside corner, call it strike. See if I can get him swing on the changeup. Nope, ball outside. Oh, grounded into the. That was was that now? It looked like he grounded that into the infield. Strike inside. Swinging strike outside. And straight to Tim Anderson. Fly ball into left field. Eloy is there. Man, this is the AOCS. Why are there so many open seats? Bottom of the fourth, Mancada, Abreu, and Encarnacion coming up. Strike inside. Ball inside. Striking side. Ah, oh, 
swimming strike at a drop pitch. And foul off. K is now losing stamina. Oh, to the second in the shortstop there. Found out at first. And Canalcion, now at bat. And swung over the drop pitch. Strike on the part of the plate. Come on, don't strike me again. And that's gone, and Canalcion hits a home run. The White Sox lead 1-0. Into the opposing bullpen. 393, 29.31, 101.1. Best alternative music in the world. And come on, come on. Come on. Oh, just missed a home run by Eloy. Back to back. Double by him. Who is the new pitcher? Ramonio? Damn dyslexia. Striking seven. Fouled off. 0 2 count. Why would I run on O2 count and second base? Foul up. And struck out swinging. But then Calcion breaks the 0 0 tie with a run one home run. Shaw. Oh crap. And Hernandez. Strike out to play fate. Strike inside for the fate. And foul off. Yep. So back to baseball mobile. I signed uh, Brett Saberhagen in ninety one. And he was doing great. Like we were winning plus 500 team for all this time. And then he gets hurt, and all of a sudden my team goes in the toward it and goes from second place to fourth and below 500, which is the worst. Strike inside. Oh, that's going to be me. Eloy kept the runner at third. The best way to explain baseball mogul is shit hitting on. I should have thrown to the cutoff man. He could have took that base. Baseball mogul is like fantasy, fantasy baseball all the time. One, one. Come pop up, pop up in the infield. Modesty there. Bounded with Modesty, Gundel, and Adam Engel.
Let's go, Mousy. And round it into three. Foul off. Come on, Grandel. Come on, come on, come on. Home run by Grandel. He breaks the tie. 354, 17.51, 92.0. Yeah. And Mingle, 0 for 1 in the game so far. Ball inside. Strike outside. And long fly ball into right field. One, two count. And struck out the drop pitch. Tim Anderson, one, two in the game. Thompson, Mankata, one for three. Oh man, the wrong way. Top of the six, Biggio and uh, Top of the six. Outside part of the plate there. Got it. And Tim Manistee. Strike inside. I feel like El Duque right now. Just throwing nothing but fastballs. Struck him out on the curveball. Strike inside. Swimming strike. Curveball, curveball, curveball. Nope. Change up inside. Come on. Gum swimming. Bama six, Abreu, Encarnacion, and Eloy coming up. <laughs> Striking side. Strike outside. Into center field, out. And Canacion hit that home run. Ball inside. Strike outside. Ball inside. Ball inside. 3 1 count for Encarnacion. Strike outside. Full count here. Here comes the payoff pitch. Walk. So Encarnacion at first. Eloy now bad. He hit a double last of that. Ball inside. Uh, 
And yes. Canacion will go the third. Eloy will go the second. Runners at second and third. Mazar has struck out twice in the game. Strike inside. O2 count. Come on, Mazar. Come on, Mazar. And struck out. That's the hat trick there. Modesty, 0 for 2. And ground out to the pitcher. Top of the seven, Shaw. Leading off. Oh, man. I can't believe I didn't bring any of them there. Strike bottom corner. And fouled off. Oh man, fly out to right field to Mazar. He's there. Strike him foul. Swing strike inside. Ball. 2 2 count. Oh man, and that's a single. Eloy holds him to a single. Strike inside. Uh oh. Oh, deep fly out to Eloy. Whew. Change up. Strength. Come on, Eloy. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, out. Bound the set. Glendale, angle, and end. Foul off. In the center field. Come on. Let's let's get a double. Let's get a double. Let's get a double. Let's get a double. Come on, Glendale. Slide, slide, slide. He slid. He's safe. Double for Glendale. Leave off. Adam Lingle, who struck out twice in this game. And that is a sacrifice bunt. Oh, not a sacrifice. So, Adam Engel is going to steal second. Hopefully, Glendale is going to steal home. Adam Engel still second. Glendale still home. It's a 3-1 lead for the White Sox. Ball low inside. Strike outside. And fouled off. Popped up to second. And yep. And Kata over three with a strikeout today. Ball inside. And swung over a drop pitch. Uh 
fouled off. One, two count. And one over. Deep fly ball. Nope, foul. And in the center field. Nope. So, the White Sox get a run. So, two more innings left in the game. Striking sad. Striking sad. Let's go, G. Let's go. Nope. And struck him out. Back to back strikes inside. And got him struck out on a slider. Alright. Strike inside. Tomasi got him at first. Final minute. Canasion, Eloy, and Mazar. Ball inside. Ball outside. Come on. White Sox. Let's go. White Sox. And foul off. Two two count for Nacion. Ball inside. Can he get another hit or another walk? Or strike out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And I struck out at the drop pitch. Straight to the first baseman. Wait. So Mazar, who has the hat trick today in strikeouts, let's see if I can get the golden sombrero. Ball inside. Let's try and avoid the sombrero. Mm -hmm. Fly ball into foul territory. Yep. Oh, well, at least I didn't strike out. Round up the shortstop, end of the eighth. So, GVO is out of stamina, which means I'm going to bring in my closer. The ever dominant Carlos Rodon. Strike inside. Come on. Oh, got through short and third into left field for Eloy. And at first. Over Anderson's head. So, this is a sticky situation. Runners at first and second. Here they bring it in. Rowdy. Strike inside. And he's going to get a run in.
Well, that was not what I was expecting. Runners are first and third. Strike inside. Ball outside. Couldn't get in the reach. And that's a soft fly, so the game is now tied. With three for you are down, both saved. That is something I did not say at all. Strike inside. We're sending Rowdy, and he steals second. Wow, that is quite shocking. And got him striking out at the two seamer. That's something I don't think I see trying out of That high two seamer up in the end. I think he said that was a strikeout, uh, a good strikeout pitch pass from the day. And struck him out. Bottom of the ninth, Monesty to end out and at Mingle. It's a whole new ball game right now. Even though Rodon broke due to save, he does have enough stamina to go quite a few innings if this goes into extras. And swung out a bad pitch. And swung out a bad pitch. Come on, fate this one, fate this one, fate this one. first base, they're going to get me. So Glendale, who's had a good game with a homer and a two-bagger. Strike inside. So thick. Oh, then he missed it at third. So a runner at first. Glendale. Do I want to put you in there? Nah, I'm gonna. He's been so effective. I don't. I would feel bad. If, or I would feel. I feel like it's a bad decision considering how good he's been. And that's Adam Engel just ends the game with a walk off on run. So we're going goes to say, but it doesn't matter because. Angle comes back and scores two runs with a two-run blast. Time of the game is 34 minutes. K struck out five. Rom Romeo struck out three, two, three. Palino struck out two. Man, it really sucks for me to say. G Vilo struck out six. Rondon struck out two. There's no glitch. So, Arizona beat Washington 1-0. And Keiko versus Roark is game two. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.